Hold it. Captain America. Captain America. the combination? Yes. Set point at zero. Left to 17. Right to 61. The vibrator. If it doesn't shut off, the building will collapse. Get out. I'll try to stop it. buildings destroyed. Many lives would have been lost if Captain America hadn't appeared. I'm not trying to discount Captain America's help, Mr. Mayor. I was merely pointing out that the danger is all over now. The stolen plans of the vibrator were destroyed along with the only two criminals who knew how to operate it. The scarab is completely disarmed. I'm afraid that's not entirely correct, Commissioner. You know that Maxon got away with most of Professor Dodge's papers and plans. What were the plans? The most important one was for Dodge's portable electronic firebolt, a machine that generates an electrical charge powerful enough to cut through steel and concrete like a bolt of lightning. Why, with that weapon, they could blast open any vault in the city. But they don't have the weapon, nearly the plans, and in code that will baffle even the mysterious scarab. Ah. We're getting nowhere. Professor Dodge is clever. The plans are impossible to decode. Ah. We've got to be cold. With the electronic firebolt, all the wealth and art treasures of the world will be mine. Well, since we can't break the code, I shall have to persuade Professor Dodge to do it for us. But Dodge is under police protection. The authorities are the only ones who know where he is. They won't stop me. I'll get that information from the DA's most trusted assistant, Miss Gail Richards. I was introduced by the district attorney. Remember? Of course, you're Dr. Maldor. What's the matter, Miss Richards? Your ring. It's sharp. It scratched me. For a purpose, Miss Richards. You are under a powerful hypnotic influence that forces you to obey me. I will obey. Where are they keeping Professor Dodge? In the district attorney's apartment, suite 304, Winston Arms. Is the district attorney with him? No, but he's going there soon. How is he guarded? There's a policeman in the apartment with him. Now listen carefully. You will go up to your office and telephone the man who is guarding Professor Dodge and tell him that two detectives from the district attorney's office are coming over to question him. You must hurry, as the effect of the serum will be working off in a few minutes. When it does, you will remember nothing that has happened. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then go, quickly. Professor Dodge. 
Hello. Clancy speaking. Hello, Clancy. This is Gail. Two of the DA's men are coming over to question Professor Dodge. All right, Miss Richards. I'll let them in. Thanks, Clancy. Hello, Gail. Say, what's the matter? I don't know. I feel dizzy. What you need is fresh air. Suppose you drive over with me to see Professor Dodge. I won't be long. How's everything? You're covered, Mr. District Attorney. This is curtains for you. They hang men in this state for murder. This won't be murder. You're going to commit suicide with your own gun. You just couldn't stand the disgrace of your constant failures. And the kidnapping of Professor Dodge was the last straw. Oak Ridge, 631. When Matson gets there with Dodge, tell him everything's okay. I just took care of the DA. You think you did? The first cartridge in my gun is always a blank to be fired as a warning shot. Turn around. Attorney, please get the telephone supervisor and find out the address of Oak Ridge, 631. Call me back here. Watson Feed Barn, Glenmore Road. Thanks. Matson has taken Professor Dodge. I'm going after him. Clancy's up in my apartment out cold. You phone the commissioner, tell him what happened, and then take care of Clancy. Right. your mind and tell us the code key to these plans. No. Dr. Tractor. Okay.
Start talking. I'll have to show you in writing. All right. But no tricks. Specifications are in letters instead of numbers. Code is based on the ten letter word Davenport's. Better be right. Tie him up again. <laughs> 